Dear curious minds, as we delve deeper into the realm of motion and gravity, I must emphasize the importance of my contributions to the study of these fundamental principles. The 16th and 17th centuries were a time of great intellectual ferment, with questions about the nature of motion and the forces governing the universe, a buzz in the scientific community. Allow me to provide an overview of Aristotle's classical view of motion and falling bodies, which dominated the prevailing understanding for centuries. According to Aristotle, objects fell at different rates based on their mass, with heavier objects descending faster. This widely accepted notion formed the basis of the geocentric model of the universe, as proposed by Ptolemy, where Earth stood at the center of it all. However, in the pursuit of truth, I embarked on a journey that questioned these established beliefs. Building upon the work of predecessors such as Nicholas Copernicus, who introduced the heliocentric model, I ventured to challenge the status quo. Inspired by the works of earlier scholars like Archimedes, I explored the principles of buoyancy, discovering the concept of fluid displacement. My groundbreaking Tower of Pisa experiment exemplified my dedication to empirical inquiry. By dropping various objects from the leaning tower, I observed that regardless of mass, they all fell with equal acceleration under the influence of gravity alone. This refuted Aristotle's beliefs and laid the foundation for what we now know as the law of falling bodies, which states that all objects fall at the same rate when freed from air resistance. This revolutionary concept led to the formulation of the principle of uniform acceleration, which asserts that an object subjected to a constant force will experience uniform acceleration. It was through this principle that I developed the notion of inertia, the property of an object to maintain its state of motion or rest, unless acted upon by an external force. From these insights, I established my three laws of motion. The first law, also known as the law of inertia, lays the groundwork for our understanding of motion without external forces. The second law reveals the relationship between force and acceleration, emphasizing the crucial connection between mass and motion. Lastly, the third law presents the principle of action and reaction, which highlights the mutual interactions of objects. As I broadened my inquiries to planetary motion, I observed the moons of Jupiter and the phases of Venus, providing evidence for the heliocentric model. My investigations of pendulums revealed their predictable and rhythmic oscillations, ultimately leading to the concept of isochronism, a significant discovery with implications in timekeeping and mechanics. I also introduced the concept of relativity, where the laws of physics hold true in all uniformly moving frames of reference. Although different from Einstein's theory of relativity, my principle of relativity laid the foundation for its development in modern physics. My influence extended beyond my time, as Sir Isaac Newton acknowledged my impact on his own work. Newton built upon my principles of motion, eventually formulating his laws of motion and the law of universal gravitation, further advancing the study of physics. In conclusion, my dear listeners, my enduring legacy lies not only in my specific contributions to the study of motion and gravity, but in the very essence of the scientific method. I championed empirical observation, mathematical reasoning, and the pursuit of truth above all else. As we celebrate the legacy of those who dared to challenge prevailing beliefs, let us embrace the spirit of inquiry, for it is through our collective curiosity that we continue to unravel the mysteries of the cosmos. Together, we embark on our own timeless quest for knowledge, pushing the boundaries of understanding and shaping the destiny of our shared intellectual journey.